Hi there. So you found some interesting information that you want to include in your work. That's great. But before you use it, you first need to evaluate it and decide if it's suitable for the assignment, essay or dissertation that you're writing. Let's see how. As you search for information online, you're going to find a lot of different results from a lot of different sources. Websites, books, journal articles, conference proceedings, videos, images, the list goes on and on. There'll be conflicting opinions, contradictory facts, unresolved arguments, inaccurate data, and maybe some good old misinformation and fake news. It's the world that we live in now, and as an independent researcher, you're going to have to learn to deal with it. So what can you do? To prevent being overwhelmed by it all, and to make sure you base your work on information of the highest quality, you need to learn to critically evaluate your sources. This means scanning the information in front of you and working out if it's trustworthy, appropriate, accurate and relevant for the type of work you're doing. To help, there's six simple questions you can ask. Who, what, when, where, how and why. Let's look at each of these in turn. Who. Who wrote the information you're looking at? Who do they work for? Who has sponsored the work and why? Who is the intended audience? How qualified are the authors? And has the work been cited by other writers and academics? What? What exactly is the information? Just because it topped your search results doesn't mean it's any good. How well does it relate to your topic? Does it help answer your question, support your arguments, or provide an alternative viewpoint? Is the level and format of the information appropriate and not too simple or in-depth for your needs? When? How current and up-to-date is the information? When was it last updated? Is there a newer version available? For some subjects, you'll want cutting-edge research. For others, maybe a historical perspective might be better. Where? Where did you find the information? Is that source appropriate? For example, is it a scholarly source like a journal or something popular like a newspaper or blog? If it's a website, does the URL reveal anything about its publisher? Is it a university, charity or company? How? How did the authors of the information reach their conclusions? If it's a research-based publication, how reliable and trustworthy are their data and results? Can their sources be verified? And are their statements supported by evidence? Also, is the tone of the work objective, unbiased and inclusive of other people's views? Why? Why did the authors write the information and why are they sharing it? What motivates them? Are they trying to sell you something, persuade you of a viewpoint or influence opinions for their own gain? How emotive is their language? Of course, evaluating information is highly subjective and depends on the type of information you're looking for. Most of the time, authoritative sources such as books and journal articles will be your key resources. At other times, a company report, newspaper or blog might be more appropriate. You'll need to use your own judgement, treat each source with care, critically assess each piece of information you find and never take anything for granted. So there you go. Every time you find a new piece of information, ask yourself six simple questions. Who, what, when, where, how and why. If the information checks out, use and learn from it. If not, forget about it and move on. Being able to quickly and effectively evaluate information in this way is an important personal and academic skill to master and a skill highly valued by graduate employers. And the more practice you get, the faster and better you'll become. Good luck.